Hello and thank you for joining me on my channel. Today I've got a tutorial for you, a very quick card that's simply, mostly stamping, a little bit of die cutting if you wish to at the end, um, but how to get the most from your stamps. Now I'm using the Textures Wildflowers stamp set. This is A5 stamp set uh, that's lovely silhouettes of wildflowers. You could use any of these within this set. I've chosen the large ones. These ones have sort of um, your... Um, they are wildflowers, they're like your baby's breath and such in there, really pretty. Uh, I've done this as almost a sympathy card because there's certainly cards that I need inspiration for when the time comes to have to make one. Uh, and hopefully you'll enjoy following along with this tutorial, learn this technique. Everything I've used I've linked down below for you so you can find those both UK and elsewhere in the world. So enjoy this tutorial and give me a thumbs up if you like it. So we're going to start by stamping this silhouette and uh, I'm just going to bring it into a stamping platform. This is just as easy to use without a stamping platform, this technique, because you're, you are moving the stamp around a fair bit. But I'm going to place this quite far into this corner, first of all. So putting it down onto my card and then pulling the card away from the edge so it doesn't catch on the edge. It should be okay, but just to make sure. So it's going really quite high up there. I'm going to fold over. Let the platform pick that up and then what i tend to do with any large stamps is hold it down in the middle so it stays in the position i want it and just lift the ends up and roll them back down just to ensure that there's no air bubbles underneath the stamp because it's such a wide area if you get a slight air bubble under there you're going to end up with missed spots so then i'm taking brushed corduroy this is a distress ink it's a nice warm uh, brown sort of tan color i've got a bit of a yellow in there so it's really going to be uh, nice and contrasting against the black. Now when I stamp with Distress Oxides, what I tend to do as a habit is just give it a very light mist of water over the top. Um, this just helps to move the ink around because you're not looking for a perfect uh, impression with this ink. It just means that you're going to have um, perfect sort of spread of the ink underneath the detail there. I'm quite happy if this was a little bit blurry on the underneath anyway. So just pressing that down like so. Make sure you've got everywhere. There's a lot of detail in this stamp. And there we go, beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just move these magnets out of the way a little bit. I'm going to do the same again, a little bit lower down. So just creating a bit of a border. So exactly the same, lift this up. This will leave a bit of an impression on your card anyway, so you'll be able to see whereabouts you're stamping and then go over just the area that you need the ink on a little mist of ink water sorry and then bring that over to there okay yeah perfect now what I'm also going to do is just give this a little bit of a wipe take that ink off I'm going to position this right in the middle of those two just there I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to ink just lightly ink and then I'm going to place some kitchen towel down and just dab that so a lot of your ink has come onto the kitchen towel you can go ahead and manually do this as well if you want to and then again spritz of water and just give it a very light tap. So this is just going to give us an even lighter version in the background there, okay. So wipe that off. Now we go in with the detail. So put my Distress Ink away, or Distress Oxide away. I'm going to make sure this is dry. I'm going to place it, first of all, place it just directly over where you stamped your first image there. And then I'm going to pull it ever so slightly, so about three or four millimeters to the left and then three or four millimetres up as well. And then I'm going to fold this over, pick it up, and I'm going to use a solid black. This is a detail black, so I'm using Memento. It's a really, really dark stamp. I'm going to probably do this a couple of times as well because I really want that solid black from it. So this is just using the one stamp, one stamp, lots and lots of layers on a card. Just go over, make sure that you've captured all the areas. And as I say, I am going to just come over, let's pick up the ink pad and not the lid. 
and just apply a bit more ink to the entire stamp. I knew I would, just to make sure we get the perfect impression, nice solid silhouette. And you'll see what you've got there then is this kind of drop shadow underneath. Now I'm going to give that a wipe, any excess ink, and do the same for this one too. So this is just press down and solid black ink again. I'm not going to put solid black ink on the, the very light one at the very back. I'm going to leave that as a silhouette there. But this is just a really simple effect that you can do with, I mean, lots of stamps, but these wildflower silhouette stamps are absolutely perfect for this. So pressing all over and again, it's not too bad, but I'm just going to do a little bit more at the bottom here. The top's fine just to get that really solid image and put the lid back on my ink pad. If you've got more of a fresher ink pad rather than an old one, it's always better if you want a nice solid colour. There we go. So we've got this really dimensional sort of cluster of wildflowers in the corner there. And then just popping this out the way, I'm going to give it a wipe, just so I don't get black ink anywhere else because I want this to be a nice clean card that's not too um, messy, not too many thumbprints and such on. I'm going to come to uh, this, I think I'll use this one, find strength in change this says. So this is going to be perfect if maybe uh, you've got uh, a sad occasion that you need to um, sort of send a card form, a sympathy, something like that. Um, maybe it's just that somebody's having got some changes going on at the moment and then maybe not so happy about it. Maybe they're just a bit a bit sort of need, needing some support there. This is going to be perfect. They're not the sort of cards we love to make, but certainly ones that occasionally we need to make. And again, I'm just going to use my solid black ink for this one. There we go. Pop this over. There, that's lovely, perfect. Okay, so I don't need to go over that one at all anymore. So this is from the uh, Mariposa collection, these sentiments, there's lots on there, but they are big sentiments. And then I've used the wildflowers for the silhouette. So there's that. Now, all I'm going to do just to finish this off is I'm going to take some nesting dies and I'm just going to create a thin frame around the edge there. So I've chosen two dies that are very close together in size from the Card Making Magic. Um, these are from the All Occasions collection, but they're nesting dies. Some are straight edge, some are stitched edge, so you get a nice variation. I'm just going to cut a lovely thin frame, nice and elegant, that just sits inside of the card, and I'm going to do that from plain white cardstock. So there's my nice fine frame. I've put some adhesive on the back. This is foam, double-sided adhesive foam. Uh, this is from Craft Stash, so I buy it in the sheets and then I cut it down to the width and the strips that I need. It's much quicker than trying to put tiny little foam dots on or anything like that. So just peeling those off and then hopefully that's strong enough to hold its shape and gently lay it where I think it's central. Yeah, press it down. And that just gives a really nice subtle drop shadow frames the card. Although it's quite a flat card, it will go in the post. It just lifts it up ever so slightly. So there's a nice easy card for you to create, really with just one stamp, but you do have the additional uh, silhouette stamps in this set. This is the Textures Wildflowers stamp set, uh, and I also used the Mariposa Sentiment stamp set for that sentiment there. You can find everything linked below, including the nesting dies and the inks as well. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already subscribed and you like this video, I'd love it if you could hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up if you like this too, and I'll see you soon again for another tutorial.